Yeah, I might have found some costumes in the attic. Anyway, welcome to week three of Stories in the Attic. My name is Adam, and today's story is about Saul. Let's take a look. Saul was a religious man who thought he was doing what God wanted him to do, which seems a little crazy because he was throwing people in jail who said they followed Jesus. Saul didn't know Jesus and didn't know Jesus was God's son until one day God got his attention. God helped Saul understand that Jesus was God's one and only son and that God sent Jesus to earth to show people what love was all about. The biggest way Jesus showed love was when he died on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross, he took all the punishment for all the wrong things that we've done so that we can be forgiven and have life forever with God in heaven. That's the gift of eternal life. Pretty awesome gift, right? But God told Saul completely changed him. In fact, it changed him so much that God took his name Saul and changed it to Paul. Paul accepted God's forgiveness and he needed forgiveness because he had done some pretty bad stuff. But God said that we could have forgiveness no matter what we've done, even hurting people and putting them in jail. I forgot I was wearing this. Once Paul got God's gift of eternal life, he did not want to stop sharing it. In fact, you're never gonna believe some of the crazy adventures Paul went on because of his mission to never stop sharing the gift that he got. Listen to this. As part of Paul's mission to never stop sharing the gift that he got, Paul went from town to town telling people the truth about Jesus and helping them know how to live a life that mattered now and later. Many people believed in the truth that we were given the gift of eternal life, but not everybody believed what Paul was talking about. In fact, on one occasion, he and his friend Silas were thrown into prison. Crazy, right? The very thing that Paul used to do when he was Saul, other people were doing to him. Prison was a pretty scary place to be. He and Silas were beaten up for believing in Jesus. But instead of getting angry, Paul and Silas remembered their mission, to never stop sharing the gift that they got. So they started singing and praising God. I don't know about you, but if I were beaten up and thrown in jail, singing and praising God would be pretty hard. But they trusted God. That's what mattered. God heard their praises and sent a huge earthquake, and it shook and knocked down all the walls of the prison. The guards saw everything that happened and thought Paul and Silas had escaped. The guard was scared to death of losing Paul and Silas and getting into trouble. Paul and Silas assured the guard that they would not run away and get him into trouble. They also shared how much Jesus loved them. You're not going to believe what happened next. The prison guard and his family asked for forgiveness and decided to follow Jesus, just like Paul and Silas. Their lives were changed because Paul and Silas never stopped sharing the gift that they got, the gift of eternal life, which, as you know, is living the good life with Jesus in heaven. And just so you know, they did get out of prison, which that brings us to our next story. And if you thought the prison story was good, just listen to the next one. Seriously, there is this one time, guys, where Paul was telling the whole town about Jesus. While some people listened to Paul, there was other people who hated Paul for what he was doing. In fact, they got so mad, they literally took him outside town and started stoning him until they thought he was dead. Then, they just left them there. But guess what? God kept Paul alive, and you're never gonna believe what happened next. Seriously, hold on. This is amazing to me. Paul knew that there were still some people who, in the town who needed to hear the good news of Jesus. So we went back to the townspeople. You know, the same people who just tried to kill him? And kept telling them about Jesus. This was a man on a mission so he was gonna never stop sharing the gift that he got. Now, Paul may not have been killed, 
but he got arrested again. Yes, again. You see, people were trying to get rid of Paul, so they framed him for a crime that he did not commit. They put him on a prisoner ship to face trial in a different town. During the trip, a massive storm came, and everybody was scared. You know, the kind of scared where you hide under the covers because it's so scary, like, really scary. But God told Paul to tell the people that everybody would be safe. The Roman soldiers knew that they were gonna be shipwrecked, so they decided to try and kill all the prisoners, including Paul. But the captain saved all the prisoners because of what God told Paul. Phew, that was a close one. After the storm, Paul and the whole crew were shipwrecked on an island. That means their ship was wrecked and that they were stuck on an island. Of course, they were wet and cold, so they started to make a fire. While Paul was grabbing firewood, a vicious, venomous viper suddenly jumped out and bit him in the hand. Did you hear what I said? Ven and mus. That means deadly. All the people on the island knew that Paul was doomed to die. But once again, God kept Paul alive. The people on the island were shocked and amazed and wanted to know how this could be true. So Paul stayed with them, healing their sick and telling them all about Jesus. He never stopped sharing the gift that he got, the gift of eternal life. Paul's story is a great story of a man who left a legacy. He chose to live a life that mattered now and later. In fact, the way he loved God and loved others still makes a difference even today. There are so many more stories that I want to tell you about, but I would get old up here in the attic. But you can dust off your Bible and read them for yourself. This is Adam, challenging you to never stop sharing the gift that you got. Just like our scripture verse says, worship Jesus as Lord of your life. And if someone asks you about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. 1 Peter 3, 15. See you next week for more stories in the attic.